Pilot Spicy reporting to duty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Shine On Network. It's always fun when you get to work on new things. And today, well, actually, over the last week, we've been working here at the Doylestown Airport on our good friend Harvey's 172, Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Uh, a goal of mine through life has always been to get my pilot's license. I've always wanted to fly planes, always been so intrigued by them, always wanted to get in the air, feel like a bird, fly through anywhere I wanted to go uh, with just a drive away get the propellers going and get up in the air. So when Harvey reached out, he has, this is his third plane now. So he's got his Bonanza, he's got his Grumman, which is for sale. So reach out to us, we're happy to connect you with him. And then he just upgraded to, well, I guess it's a downgrade from his Bonanza, but an upgrade from his trainer. So he upgraded to his 172 Cessna. So Harvey reached out, I've known him for multiple years. He's gotten all of his cars coded by us and now his airplanes. And when we said, when he had his Bonanza, which is his goal and his baby, uh, which is an incredible aircraft. Uh, I said, hey, you know, I know that you train. And although he kind of got out of it or he's kind of doing it on the side now, uh, I said, is there any way that we could kind of barter? I'll coat your planes and you basically help me get my pilot's license. So that's exactly what we did. Uh, and this is exactly what we're going to be flying in. So at the first time we went into his Grumman, which is parked at the outside now in the front of the airport, uh, we were in his Grumman. I just didn't fit and he always wanted to get a 172. So now he had an excuse to do it and something to tell his wife. So this is what he found. Uh, so over the last week, we've been here with the team, basically correcting, polishing, and coating this plane. And now today we're going to do a reload. We're going to kind of do the top coat to really lock it in and give it a ton of slickness, especially for the bugs in this thing. Uh, right now we have the end caps off of the wings, so you can see some wires hanging out. This is not normal, but Jim's back at the shop right now cleaning those up and getting those paint to match. Uh, it, the paint was just flaking over the years. So this paint, is, as, you know, as you'll see in the videos, was completely oxidized. I mean, it was, it was definitely not shiny on any means. Uh, his Bonanza, we were able to dial in to perfection, and because he keeps such good care of it, and this one being that he wasn't the original owner, uh, he jumped into it and we kind of had to make it look as good as possible. So uh, let's go over it. So from the wings down, I mean, you can kind of see just how much gloss is truly here. Now, when you're talking aircraft as well, people always ask us, why do people get their planes and their boats and their kitchens done and their jet skis and all the, you know, all these different things in their homes? Uh, why don't they just deal with their cars? Because the cars is typically where people start. And then when I'm able to provide them and say, hey, we can coat so many other things to make your life so much easier maintenance wise, gloss wise uh, and just the, the look and finish of something. Uh, I mean, it's just night and day. So for something like this, which is a 1970s plane, something that's almost double my age to look almost as brand new as it possibly could be, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. So uh, top to bottom, left to right, like I said, we're gonna be, or we coded this thing. Uh, it's got C-Quartz or C Finest Reserve on it. Uh, so it's locked in and solid and ready to go. It's gonna make our lives easier too, being that one, I'm training in it. So what's cooler than to walk up to a plane that you know you just put your blood, sweat, and tears into? And yes, I did have a polisher in my hand. It's a rarity. I came out of retirement for this damn thing. Probably wasn't the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. So I came out of retirement, put some time into this, helped them coat it as well. Uh, what did I polish? I'm not gonna tell you, but I did polish some of these things out here. Uh, so, but it's cool to walk up and be able to train out of this and see it every single morning. We're gonna be in this plane, getting here at 7.30 in the morning. I'm gonna be training from 7.30 to 10 o'clock until I can get my hours down uh, and then we'll be in the air. So uh, this is the 172. If you guys wanna come take a look on the inside as well. I guess the planes are cool. I mean, this is one of the, the older planes, um, the older planes is still be in production, if not the oldest. Uh, so it's always kind of neat to see, you know, just how simplistic airplanes are. Uh, they say that cars, uh, the electronics in cars uh, are way more complicated than that of a 737 aircraft. So think about that when you're going up on a you know, Southwest Airlines trip from here to Hawaii, um, your car that you drove to the airport has way more electronics and is way more complicated than the aircraft and it goes to show right here. Uh, so <clears throat> as we as we continue this journey, obviously we're gonna keep you guys in the loop. Uh, like I said, you know, one of the biggest things too when you guys are starting a business, and I gotta give a massive shout out to your able, because your able has helped us ten times, especially me with with my life and 
basically being able to break myself out of work, 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 and then kind of have a platform and a software handle so much of, of what my duties were. Uh, I'm talking like 30 hours a week uh, of what I was doing prior. It just does on its own. And that's allowed me to now go and live my, what I've always wanted to do and live my dream and obviously be able to work at the same time. So massive shout out to your able. Uh, wholeheartedly if it wasn't for your able if i didn't take that platform on you know a year and a half ago there'd be no way i'd be able to do this now uh, and there'd be no way while i'm here i can always watch my team so i can be on my phone tracking where the guys are in the jobs i can you know be able to take calls and kind of see exactly where they are with the crm system i can see who's come to pick up their cars i can see all the reviews that are coming in it's handling you know the scheduling side of it too with the text and everything so you're able i gotta give a massive shout out to but being able to go and live you know, dreams out, uh, which I've been able to do over, especially over the last six months. Uh, this is by far number one goal for me too, was to be able to get my pilot's license. So uh, it's pretty cool to be able to say that I'll be pilot spicy come year 2021. So uh, thanks again for tuning in guys. If you have any questions or you'd like to see any more videos, make sure you like and subscribe. As always, keep shining. Pilot Spicy reporting to duty.